Hey Pisces and welcome to my channel. I am doing your weekly love horoscope for the 16th through the 22nd of July 2018. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will not resonate with everybody, so just take the messages that fit, don't force it, and as always, just enjoy and have fun with it. So, we go ahead and tip you guys down here. There we go. Okay. Spirit Angel, what messages do you have for Pisces and then Rising and Venus? Okay, the Nine of Pentacles came out first. The first row will be you. The second row will be the person you're connecting with, thinking of. Um, and the third row will be the outcome. The Ace of Wands in the reverse. Too many. This place is ceiling. Hmm. Whoever you're dealing with, Pisces, is not moving forward. They are stuck. Because these cards are taking forever to get out. If someone would timestamp this, that would be amazing, please. Because this is taking way longer than usual. There we go. Ooh. Okay, and the outcome. Pisces, you guys had such a beautiful reading the other day. What happened? Can I get a central issue and a clarifier, please? One more for a clarifier. Okay. So for some of you, you this is the bottom of your deck, the Hermit in Reverse. Some of you are breaking free of a Virgo. And some of you are um, being called to... Go within to um, to explore your spiritual side. Though for those of you who um, are leaving a Virgo or a Virgo is leaving your life, you do have a new beginning here on the horizon. Um, you just have to put in some work to um, to get to that place of um, being able to move on with confidence. You guys are kind of dragging your feet a little bit. Your guys is overall um, your central issue is the Emperor in reverse. Clarified by the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So uh, the person that you're dealing with in your space are very controlling, very dominating, um, very negative energy. Uh, the universe is not supporting the connection because it is toxic for you. This person is acting hasty. They think their way is the only way. They have to be right. Um, yeah, most definitely. There could have been some deceit in the past as well. Your blessings uh, will come into you eventually when you find the one that is stable, grounded, a ruler, um, one that has control of his life. Because this person is out of control at the moment that you're dealing with. Could be an Aries male, very possibly. But uh, Pisces, you guys, uh, you guys are taking a new outlook to life. Some of you could be going back to school. Some of you could be um, starting new jobs. But for the collective, you guys are uh, single and ready to mingle. You guys are in your energy, in your element. You are confident. Your confidence is just soaring right now. Um, you are realizing that you don't need a, a new beginning with this person. You don't need this person in your life. Uh, definitely could very well be a fire sign with this uh, emperor in reverse and the ace of wands in reverse. Um, but there's no, the, the passion is gone. You are getting over heartbreak. 
from the past. Um, even though you are holding on to emotional um, baggage, I guess you could call it, you're, you're kind of stuck in your thoughts about this heartbreak. You're still, you're over the heartbreak, but you're still thinking about the heartbreak, if that makes sense. There's a nine of pentacles here for Pisces. Yeah, the two of wands. So you were at a crossroads in life with this person. Um, in the next week, you are choosing a path, and it is one of beauty and confidence and success. You are choosing to be single. You're choosing to be free, and that's the road that you're taking. There's Ace of Wands here in reverse. The Eight of Cups. Yep. You are, you are the one that is not allowing a new start with this person. You are the one that is moving forward and moving on on your spiritual journey in light of in search of the Two of Cups, missing here from the Eight of Cups. You're not sure where you're going. You're not sure where you're meant to be, but you're sure as hell ain't sticking around for this uh, guy over here or girl. You are heading out. You're heading out to find passion, to find love, to find emotional stability. And uh, like I said, you um, you are over the heartbreak. You are letting the swords fall out of that heart. Why is the six of swords in reverse here for Pisces? Like I said in your guys' channel messages, you guys are just done. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. You are taking a logical approach to this. You are not putting up with any more of their emotional manipulation, their emotional abuse, which is what the Aries or the Emperor in reverse is all about. Um, you are turning your back and a cold shoulder to this person. You may not be over the hurt of the past. You may move forward with emotional um, baggage that you're taking with you, but don't we all? I think we all leave with a certain amount of baggage when we end a relationship first for a short time. Some people hold on to it a little longer than others, but that's all right. Why is the three of swords here for Pisces? Yeah, strength. You guys have done nothing but ex exhibit. I can't talk strength throughout this whole process. This week is beautiful for you guys. Um, you are setting out on that spiritual path that you're meant to take. You're turning a cold shoulder to somebody who did not treat you good, who did not have your best intentions at heart. And you have been strong and healed or working on healing and overcame the situation, overcame this heartbreak that was almost debilitating. It was almost paralyzing to you. And you are walking forward stronger than ever and confident and amazing. Who is uh, Pisces dealing with? Why is the two of pentacles here for the person Pisces is dealing with? Yeah, the eight of swords. So um, they are out of balance. They are juggling life in all different kinds of ways. They could have been juggling someone else in the past as well. Um, they're no longer feeling stuck in the situation because uh, Pisces, for a group of you, I'm getting you kicked their ass out. So they're no longer stuck there. Um, they thought the grass was greener on the other side. And um, you ain't putting up with nobody that isn't watering their own grass. So you're moving on, moving forward. You're not going to be stuck with this person anymore emotionally, mentally. Yeah, the page of cups. So you denied them a second chance. They're experiencing the downside of karma at the moment. Um, they are uh, emotionally drained. They're coming out of this time of thinking that you had to have them. Like they thought that you would never leave. They depend on me too much. They count on me too much. They can't live without me. That's their energy. And you're like, yeah, no, bye. They're experiencing the downside of karma for sure. Whoever you guys are separated from at this moment, somebody that caused extreme heartache in your life. Um, and with the strength card, you're coming out most definitely on the positive side of this situation. They have a choice to make, however, this week. Why is it two of eight of wands? So they are either choosing to uh, cut you off uh, communication-wise or you are cutting them off. Communication will be severed with this person this week. Um, 
yeah, they are not opening up or you are not to them. One of the two. Uh, someone's holding on to this connection, though. They're trying to, uh, they're scared to transform. They're scared to let go. They're scared to lose their, uh, not identity, but what's the word I'm looking for? You've been holding off, completely severing ties with this person. Oops. Let me see why it's here before I say that. Why is the death card here as the outcome this week? Or Pisces. Way too many cards. Why is it death? There we go. Okay. Quite a few anyways, but okay. So you have the six of swords in the reverse having a hard time moving on, having a hard time closing out this chapter because you are confused. There's no truth coming out of this person's mouth to you. You have questions and you feel you can't move on without knowing the answer to why they did this to you, why they hurt you. Why did they leave you up in your head and just destroyed your heart and you want answers. And that's why you're not letting this close. You're not letting this chapter end until you get the full truth. Um, this person could be watching you from afar right now while you're separated or you went digging for your own truth. But either way, the Ten of Wands is here and you're ending this chapter. When you lay this burden down and uh, and walk away in the Two of Cups here or Eight of Cups here, your this card will flip in the upright and you will close the door to this person. You are so strong this week, Pisces. For those of you this is resonating with, you are so strong. Okay, why is the Nine of Cups here for the outcome? Yeah, the Fool. You are setting out on a new journey. You are emotionally stable. The Nine of Cups uh, at times, uh, for me, it's, look at, he's he has no worries. Look how he's just sitting there nice and content. All his cups are lined up because he is confident in his emotions. He is um, leveled out. He is not emotionally out of, out of balance. So you have the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups here. You are single this week. You are strong. You are setting out on a new journey, a new beginning, carefree and fancy. Um, also you are, um, there's a wish that's coming true for you. There's a prayer being answered here this week. You, um, could be with like housing or something. You guys have been concerned about where you're going to go with the eight of cups. You're concerned about where you're going to move to or, or what, Something with uh, moving, you are going to get word. Your prayers are going to be answered this week for those of you that that situation applies. Why is the Ten of Cups here in reverse? The Ten of Cups is here, however, even though it's in the reverse. Um, so that means uh, for this group of you, you have the 8, 9, and 10. You are progressing beautifully. Even though it's in the reverse, uh, you are going to come into emotional satisfaction, emotional bliss, Happiness, a family, it's just not here with this person. I I always hate to use the word narcissist, uh, but that's what this person is. This energy is 100 totally percent that. Um, this could be you or them, but I'm getting it's them, Pisces. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, um, once you, oops, Ten of Pentacles, I mean. Um, once you walk away, once you get this new beginning, that you so desperately deserve, your prayers are going to be answered. You are going to walk into the most beautiful, loving relationship. It's going to be everything you had hoped for, everything you had dreamed, everything you had thought that this person was but wasn't is coming in for you. A soulmate connection, a life partner is coming in for you. Even though they're in the reverse, you do have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles and the Upright. That means there's a passionate connection, a spark, a intense, beautiful relationship that's blessed by the universe. It's a gift to you from the universe. When they're in the reverse in your reading, though, it means that this person ain't the one, but they're here for you. So once you walk away from this person and start your journey for the two of cups, these will come in the upright. It just means that the situation that you're in right now is not meant for you to receive these gifts from the universe. So you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles in this new beginning. 
this new start. You are just, you are single and on fire. Your confidence is booming. People are attracted to you. You're like a magnet. So go ahead and, and let this burden go. Be strong and heal from this heartache this week and move forward because it's time for this chapter to end. And honestly, I don't know if you're ever going to get this truth. I don't know if this person is ever going to come in and tell you the truth. So it's just time to close the chapter, to heal from those hurts, and to move forward because you have beautiful, beautiful connection coming towards you in the next couple weeks. This week, you just need to concentrate on dealing with the energy in this space and um, making decisions to move forward, to be beautiful, to be strong, to be amazing, and to be you without somebody in your space making you feel less of a person. So Pisces, this will not resonate with everybody. Um, I would love to hear, though, how it does resonate in the comments below. Go ahead and like it if you enjoyed this reading. Um, subscribe if you're not already a um, subscriber to my channel. As always, I appreciate your guys' love and support. And um, thank you so very much for walking on, walking with me in my spiritual journey. As always, God bless.